Like a culinary game of Clue, the new series Rat in the Kitchen puts cooks to the test to win big money, but there's a rat trying to sabotage them and take all the cheddar. Watch this. I, I'm a fitness professional, so what I do is I coach people on fitness and nutrition, and food is a big part of that. <gasps> So you don't cook with butter? Oh, I love butter. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, Ben, good. I love my butter, you know. I figure with a French chef, <laughs> I got to do extra butter today, right? Hi, Natty. Hi, chef. Only my personal friends call me Natty, so I love it. Can we be friends? Uh, I don't know. I have to taste your cooking. <laughs> uh, oh, and Natty and Chef Ludo from Rat in the Kitchen are here with me now. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi how are you? She got personal with you right away. I mean, it yeah. happened. So. <laughs> well, listen, this is kind of like a Knives Out meets a cooking show. So, Natasha, tell me, kind of like, set the show up for us. Tell us what it's about. Well, basically, each episode is seven different chefs, and some of them oh, are home chefs, some of them are professional yeah. chefs who own their own restaurants, and they're all all trying to make these dishes to impress Ludo yeah. and me, but no one cares about me. And then the, what they don't know is who the rat is. There's someone right. who's been chosen the night before to sabotage the dishes. Yeah, that's not fair. And, you know, <laughs> oh, it, no. then we have to eat them. But so basically right. what happens is if the food is amazing, then the team wins the money. Yeah. And if the food is disgusting, the rat has gotten a hold of it. Right. And then the rat wins the money. And then at the end, they tally everything up. Right. Well, Chef Ludo, tell us, like, you're the only judge in this, which I feel like that's a lot of pressure, don't you think, to be the only judge? Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but I give a little piece of the food to Natasha, too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I did have together. <laughs> but raw, raw shrimp. Uh, you had raw shrimp. Well, I yeah. mean, sometimes, like, they were sabotaged in a way oh, that, they like. they were not cooking them all the way. Yeah, that's, that's one way to do it. Sabotage. But were they intimidated by you? Because you said there, some of them are professional chefs. Some maybe are not. Everyone was huge but. fans of Chef Ludo, and that's what's so hard because they all, this is their big chance to impress yeah. him. Yeah, and good. then someone has like ruined their grandmother's recipe, or maybe their grandmother's right. recipe was kind of awful to begin with. But right, sometimes right. you don't know. So there, there's like, there's not a literal rat rodent in the kitchen, but the rat is the guy that's kind of sabotaging. So, so what, are, what are they doing to sabotage these dishes? I mean, I don't want to reveal all the secrets, right. you know, but they have some good way to sabotage the dishes. Yeah. One I'm going to tell you one is you eat raw. Pork. Yeah. Oh God. That's oh God. Like, you know, you could, not, you know, not you know, well. Yeah. Like you could be or, sick you know, from too that. much salt, or they put too much ingredients on the plate. I mean, yeah. it's or a if lot. you really want to sabotage a dish for Ludo, just don't put a stick of butter in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, how bad did some of it get? Was it? Just horrible. Well, I mean, we, are, we eat some bad food definitely because it was sabotaged so well. Yeah. All the cooks are great, amazing contestants, but they sabotage the food so well. Yeah. So the food become. Can I say it? Like gross. What? Yeah, I think gross. you can say gross on, on here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Come yeah, I think because it's sabotage so well. He was begging yeah. me not to swear on this, so I'm yeah. like, I'm, I, I was well, like, didn't know where he was going with that. Yeah. Well, people know you from your comedy, but you are you. I think in the first episode, say that you have no cooking skills, right? Oh no, oh. I don't. No. Um, well, I, I do have a specialty: toast and coffee. <laughs> That's a good one. That's, That's a good something one. I do. <laughs> yeah, but I know, like, the kitchen can pretty be pretty serious. I worked in kitchens. I know that you've been in some serious kitchens obviously yours is pretty serious did she lighten things up for you did she make it a little more fun oh yeah it was so fun to be in the kitchen with uh, with Natasha yeah. because you no know, she's so she don't know nothing about food yeah. <laughs> No, I know about it's food. Yeah, I just know, don't know about cooking. I'm cooking, an excellent yeah, critic. Right. Sorry, my English. But <laughs> yeah. it was just so funny. Ludo, what is this? 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 Yeah. And she's funny. But, yeah. but I'm very um, picky. Okay. With what people are serving me. Okay. So that is something seems, I bring to the table. It seems unfair if you can't cook. It's not. <laughs> but listen, they say that you should never work with your, your spouse. And I yeah. know that you're doing a podcast with your husband. How's that going? Oh, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Like some, we have a podcast called the Endless Honeymoon Podcast, and um, you know we take relationship advice, questions, but also kind of make fun of people. Yeah. And then we also have a secrets hotline. Ludo is on with his wife Chrissy. Yeah, was fun. And people people leave their deep dark secrets. Okay. Um, but yes, it is hard to do a podcast with your husband. But one thing I've learned your is that amazing. instead of doing couples therapy, I just bring him the things I'm annoyed <laughs> at on the podcast. Work through it, and then everyone like you know vote who's right and I'm often <laughs> the one that's right of so course it saved me a lot of money oh that's good well and a chef you just opened Shea Maggie in Colorado yeah, congrats Colorado. what's the what's the uh, the cuisine there the cuisine is very French yeah you know, I, bring, I bring butter to Denver <laughs> <laughs> 
<rire> it's very uh, classic, classic French dish, you know, onion soup, escargot, steak tartare, yeah. steak frites, yeah. duck confit. I mean, all the classic French dish I bring back to Denver. Oh, you know, I'm so excited. It. And my wife is from Denver. So oh, open, that's so nice. So open a restaurant in Denver. Yeah, well, but you get out to Denver city. just to try it. But, yeah. but you can't get a reservation, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to work you on can. that. You can. I'm going to work on that. All right, well, you can catch Rad in the Kitchen Thursdays at 9 p.m. on TBS. Thanks, guys. Thank Merci. you.